Hello friend. Welcome back to PDMS for Beginner Channel. This is Mr. Tan, have a nice day. In previous video we completed a piping catalog file. Today we will talk about how to create a piping project file in CADWORKS plant. Now let's start it. Click on the file menu and select new project. This opens the new project window. Fill in the information as shown below. For the default catalog, map the training catalog created in the previous exercise. Put the description information then click OK. In the Projects Properties panel, Click on the ellipsis for the long description. This opens the long description format window. With the component tables group selected, select the comtype underscore cmp underscore tbl, then click the move right arrow. Select the user underscore string underscore r underscore separator, then click the move right arrow. Replace the dash with a space, sch space. The user string slash separator should look like this. sch, as shown below. Under Schedule Tables, add main underscore sch underscore tbl. Add a user string underscore r underscore separator and edit it to be a comma and a space. The user string slash separator should look like this, as shown below. Under material tables, add spec underscore mat underscore tbl. Add a user string underscore r underscore separator and edit it to be a space. The user string slash separator should look like this, as shown below. Under material tables, add grade underscore mat underscore tbl. Sorry we have to modify this comma to space. When finished, the format should look like this. Click OK when finished. Next, we create the specification. Click Add Specification in the Specification panel of the Home tab. This opens the new specification window. Fill in the information as shown below, and then click OK.
We will add the size range in here. Put the description for specification then click OK. Double click on the training specification Imperial to open the specification. Click the material assignment setup in the properties window, then click the ellipsis. The material assignment dialog box displays. Here, we can specify the general material assignment for the specification. You can specify material assignments by the component group, type, and range. Select all components and then select the Add New Item icon. Name this material assignment Fittings. Double click on the fittings assignment and select the materials like this. You can hold down the Shift key and click to select multiple entries in the nominal size column. Right-clicking on the selected nominal size entries will allow you to apply a material to all of the selected fields at once. Now, let's set up a schedule assignment so that our components will automatically come in. With an assigned schedule. Add the following schedules to the schedule assignment. To add the schedule, click the box next to the size and then select the schedule. To add components to the specification, click on the category drop down menu in the new component section and then select pipe. Click add to add the component. You may see a yellow caution triangle next to the pipe. This is just a warning that there is no end type assigned to the pipe. This is OK because CADWorks will automatically assign an end type to the pipe for us. Right click in the empty area below the new pipe entry to add a new component. We will add elbow component. We can modify the size range for elbow here. We can use the material group created before. Click add to add new component. We also can modify the material for pipe as the same way create elbow. Remember have to click apply.
Until now we already learn how to create component in piping spec one by one. Next, we will transfer in the rest of the project data. It mean we will copy all component created by Intergraph to our piping spec. Click the project data button in the transfer data panel on the home tab. The transfer project data dialog box displays and the editor asks you if you would like to use the current project for the target. Click yes. Click open project at the end of the source field. Select the inch underscore specs.prj. Hold down the shift key, then select all spec we want to copy. Then drag and drop them to our piping spec. Select the folders for the pipe support data and drag to the target as shown. Here we have many piping spec we have already copied and create. Thank you for your watching. If you have any comment let me know. See you in the next lecture.